Welcome back to Transport Fever 2 and the EPEC challenge, guys, on the Spring Update Beta. Uh, today, uh, we are going to hook up Provo with some fuel. And um, we have 15 million in the bank, we have no loans, and we are making very nice money. So that is awesome. Uh, if we just take a look at our lines, um, basically, uh, the tools with the Baldwins on is making a lot of money. <laughs> a lot, a lot of money, which is fantastic. Uh, the, the tool delivery line is losing money, but that's okay. And the passenger line is losing money over in uh, uh, San Antonio. So... But generally, we are making quite a lot of money, and that is fantastic. Uh, so in the last one, I think it was, we upgraded to Baldwin's. I don't quite remember. It's been a few days since I played. Uh, but we definitely upgraded to Baldwin's. But what we're going to do today, we're going to grab this oil well and hook it up to these tracks. It'll come up this way by Providence. It will continue over by Detroit, where we'll set up a train station as well. Then it'll hook down and deliver the crude to the Detroit oil refinery here. Then it will deliver that uh, the oil up to the fuel refinery right there. And it'll take the fuel all the way back, uh, deliver to Provo and pick up some more crude down here. That's the plan. So let's get to it. Uh, I reduced the um, uh, what, what's it called the the display the the HUD uh, a little bit. So before it was 150 percent, it was just a little bit too big for me. Uh, I know that it's maybe not for you, but in order to be able to play the game, I have to be able to see what I'm doing. And uh, I just wasn't. So I reduced it a little bit and to 125%. It was at 150, now it's at 125. And before, when uh, you guys said that it was uh, very small, it was 75%. So I hope this is, uh, this is good. Uh, we're going to make this a passenger station, 240 meters, yes. Um, uh, actually, I think I want it to be a terminus. I want it to be a terminus. Um, and it'll come in something like this. Now, let's make a little road out this way something like that and then we'll put in this thing down here like um hmm. i want two passenger tracks i think so we'll put it in like that. Then we will configure you. And I think we'll make a little space maybe. And we need to put something in here. And so I don't really like having platforms right next to each other so if we do tracks something like that and then do a cargo building it's too big all right we'll do cargo buildings uh, we can't do that all right fine uh, then we'll have tracks here We'll have cargo platform. 
And we'll have another track. And then I want another cargo building there, I think. So that looks nice. And so that it shares has some shared capacity. It's not a lot, but it's some. All right. So there we have our station. Now we need to get these tracks hooked up there and there. So let's see about doing that. And I want you to come in here. And I want you to come in there. Okay. And then I want you to be a double slip switch. <clears throat> Actually. I want you to come in like that. So this isn't good enough. We need to make it a little bit longer. All right, now you Come in here, and you come in there, and then we'll make a little bossy thing here, like that, and that should be fine. Okay, now, uh, these tracks need to come up this way. 110 is probably fine. And we need them to come in there, but we need to break off as well. So we'll break off. Uh, I'm thinking something like up here. And come down this way. And then you can come in here. And I think once we get this line up and running, um, and we have the, uh, the tool production line that is making very good money, I think we'll be pretty okay. Uh, money wise so something like that I could have turned that a little bit more maybe but I'm okay with it uh, let's uh, let time pass a bit and then you can come down like this And you can come out like that. This is going to be great. Okay. And then we actually need to come off this again, which is fine. So we'll come off uh, something like here. And go down there. Okay, new San Antonio oil well. Let's set up this train station. Uh, buildings, cargo, one platform, 240 meters. Uh, or do we want two platforms? No, we only want one. 
Um, let's put that in right there, I think. And we'll see about hooking it in to this line here. That actually looks really good. That and like so. Okay. So that's that done so far. Uh, I'll do the signals off camera. Then we come up here. And up here, we need to come out uh, something like this. And then we need. I'm so scared that our industries will be removed. Uh, we need to come out to Detroit, and Detroit will have its train station out here. So we're going to have to bulldoze that, unfortunately. Now, I think I want passenger station on this side with one track. We'll configure it afterwards. And I want it to be a little bit away only because I want cargo station in there as well. So what if we said cargo station? Okay. It is a little bit wider, the cargo station, isn't it? So we'll have it like that. We'll configure you. Uh, can we get a big cargo building in here? No. Can we get a medium-sized cargo building in here? No. This one? No. Yeah, damn it. Alright, so these ones, I guess. And then we didn't need to be that far off. Uh, we really didn't. So... Pull those that. And come in here. Like that. Okay. And then we can configure you. And we can get... Well, we can get this in here and this in there. Okay. That's fine. And then we want tracks. Through tracks. Uh, another passenger platform. Um, with an under thingy. And I guess we'll put in some roof for it as well. And we want tracks on the other side and a cargo platform and another set of cargo tracks okay so that's that then we need to come in here we're gonna go through that I don't want to go through this station that we're going to put in over here. So, cargo building. Uh, I don't suppose we'll connect there, will you? No, you will actually. So, I guess we don't need a road to come in here. Let's build you there. 
Oh, this is going to be a little tricky. A little tricky. Uh, but uh, we need to configure this and put some through tracks again. And okay. Oops. another cargo platform there. And then down here, uh, we will need two platforms on a terminus. And you'll see why uh, a little bit later. Um, maybe not in this episode, but you will see. I think we need to put in a little code here. And earn some more. Even more. That'll do. Okay. So there we have it. Then we need over here in Providence, we need to get these tracks going out. So tracks. Um, we'll do something like that. Something like that. And then come in there. Come in there, and you come in here, and you come in there. Okay. Uh, so we're heading over there. I think we'll go this way around the oil well. what yeah we go this way around the oil well oof uh, oh, it's not as bad as it looks okay I don't know about the, the contour lines. I I think they I, I I don't think they're very useful to be honest. Um, maybe it's because I'm colorblind, but the the color of of that overlay is just really really bad for my eyes. Um, okay. there and then let's try and come out here that looks pretty good to me alrighty we'll hook this stuff up later because right now it doesn't really matter now if we did this what would it look like that actually looks pretty okay This might be a problem because it's so bendy there, but we'll figure it out. Um, what about if we do this? I don't like that. Maybe a little bridge there, but I am actually okay with that. We'll do that. Uh, do that. Uh, now, the question is, is the game okay with me doing this? No, it's not. Dang it. So I'm not okay with the bridge. Let's just 
go back a bit. Um, it's going to have to be something like this. That's steep. And then something like that. And that's just the way it is. Just the way it is. Okay. But now we can hopefully make this crossover. Yes, we can. Indeedy. Alright, now here, going back, we want to come in here. Uh, that's wrong. like so and like so oh, come on 112 fine all right and then here Let's try that, and then let's try this, oh, right there, beautiful, and we will double slip all this, of course, and the same down here. There we go. Right, we don't need to worry about Detroit right now. Uh, we can do that later. But this basically has everything ready for a line. So we can go ahead and say new line from here. Uh, to here. To here, to Provo, and back again, and that's fine. And in Detroit East, uh, you can use whichever you want. Okay, so there we have it. Um, five vehicles. Uh, we didn't get faster cargo cars yet, didn't we? Did we? No. So I don't care about the mogul, even though it's more powerful. No, uh, I didn't want to double hit that. Um, you guys remember? Was is it 140 we set it to? Um, I think maybe it was, but I'm not sure. How long are these trains? 140, okay. Good. Five vehicles. Steam. Baldwin. Cargo. Tank cars with a capacity of 140. Bye set you on line one and there we go we did somewhere but a road connection that was down here wasn't it yeah they did not appreciate that so we'll just uh, put that uh, road connection in again Like that. And we have no warnings. Fantastic. And we didn't even spend all our money. I thought we would have spent more, but we are going to buy more trains, obviously. Uh, but here it comes. Oh, here comes one of the tool trains. And there we have our new Baldwin. 
205 meters long. It's a pretty train. It really is. It really, really is. There's another one right behind it. Oh! Just got hit by a train there. I really like that train. There's probably another train coming soon, right? Relatively. Hmm. I guess not. I guess not. But we have our first Baldwin on that line. We need to rename that line. Uh, so this is going to be cargo, uh, rail, uh, delivery, uh, fuel, uh, well, it's Provo. Uh, well, Pro, but. Uh, you know what? We'll call it Provo because we have Providence as well, which is called PRO. So, you know what? We'll call it. Um, Provo, rail, delivery, fuel. ERB. Oh, okay. So you're down there now. Now we could set up passenger line as well. Uh, oh, uh, one thing I forgot to do is check where does Provo actually want fuel? It wants fuel down here. So we need to set up delivery of that. There and a little uh, no, I'll put it in here, I think. Um, let's put it in something like that, I guess. There. Um, new line from there to there. And this will be cargo, truck, delivery, fuel, ERV. Okay. And we're going to need a depot. And I think we'll put the depot in over here. That'll do. Five vehicles, uh, cargo. Um, let's do the whole strong carriages. We'll just do two. Uh, we'll tell you to go on there. And then this line uh, this line here, we want at lower Provo, you want to wait for full load forever. Okay. Are you making, yep, we have plenty of stuff sitting here waiting. So what we can do is clone you, uh, if we had enough money. Um, uh, vehicle, clone, plus five million. Ouch. Ooh, uh, one thing I forgot to do is put in signals. We'll let the game run and we'll put in signals a while the trains get going. Signal up here. And then we need a signal here, a signal here. 
that's fine. We need a signal here and here. That's fine. Uh, let's put in a signal here and here. Okay. We need a signal down here. Uh, we need one ways. And we'll do that. Then we need up here. That we'll put one in the middle here. Then we obviously need signals here. Okay, and that's fine. Then we're running all the way up here, out here, and in here I want a signal. I want a signal here. And then we want some signals out here. The way over to Detroit. All right, let's borrow some more money so that we can get the, these signals done there. Uh, there. Wow, it's further away than I thought. And then here, we'll put in one there. We don't really need them, but it doesn't hurt more than, what, 50 bucks? there and a signal there we want a signal there and there and here and then up here i guess uh, we can put one in between there okay so we are signaled up We have train full there. Uh, what train are you? Where's the other one? Is it all the way up here already? Yeah, it is. Nice. All right. In that case, let's borrow some more money. And manage vehicle. Loan. Okay. Let's grab you. Uh, borrow some money. We got some new vehicles there. I didn't see which ones it was. Clone. And repay. So now we have spent most of our money. Okay. So we have three trains on that line now, and it should make a killing. It really should make a killing. We're going to need more trains on it. Of course. Um, so now it's at minus 832,000 on that train, but how much is it going to make when it gets up there? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Let's see. Yeah, so we lost money, but that's understandable. Because we spent a lot of money. And if we hadn't spent a lot of money, we would have made a lot of money. Let's 
so it's fine. I will really want to see what this guy makes. Come on, get in there. I'm really looking forward to seeing how much this guy makes. Show us, show us two and a half million. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Now we are only going to be running half full here because we, we really should hook this oil well up as well so that they go grab some crude there and bring in. And I think we will do that. But it's going to have to be next time because we are out of time. Uh, why did you go over there? There's absolutely no point in that. Go on terminal one. All right, but look at how much money we have. Uh, repay, repay. All right. So fantastic. So yeah, uh, next time we'll hook in this oil well, I think. And we may even set up another new line. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll set up another new line. Uh, but we need more trains on this. We need more trains on this. Uh, so yeah, uh, this needs to run for a bit and uh, just get settled and then we'll we'll hook in this oil well. Uh, actually, I think we'll we'll do that. Uh, I don't even think I'll let the game run in between episodes. Uh, just we'll hook in this from the beginning of next episode and then uh, we'll see how it goes. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.